As if the hostile temperatures and 90 kilogram sleds weren't making the walk to the South Pole tough enough, Prince Harry and the British team have had to negotiate the dangerously uneven, wind eroded surface as they slowly eat in to the 210 miles to the finish line. But already, just a couple of days in, they've opened up an early lead over the American and Commonwealth teams. Arriving at the start line last week, before setting off, the Apache co-pilot gunner had time to make a quick call to the rotor recovery team, which includes injured service personnel currently in the Canary Islands preparing to row the Atlantic to raise money for Help for Heroes. Uh, we're due to start on Monday um, to row 3,000 miles. It's a little bit further than your walk, um, but at the moment we're uh, we're not uh, not so pleased with the weather. It's looking a little bit uh, unpredictable at the moment. Yeah, but rowing 3,000 miles is a hell of a lot easier than walking 300 kilometres. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, well, especially if you've got a broken toe. I can imagine that's true. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to mention my broken toe next to the people like Disney who are missing one leg. So. <laughs> Both expeditions are supported by funds from the Prince's Foundation. Winding up the other challenges with talk of 50 foot waves may come back to bite Prince Harry, who has some way to go before reaching his own finish line. Paul Harrison, Sky News.